I guess I would describe my sound to someone who hasn't heard my music as kind of avant-garde pop music or something. I tend to try to make pop music, which I would describe as just music that's very immediately gratifying and, you know, sensual or something. My first record was kind of more noise pop. My second record was more sort of goth, ambient pop. And the last one I did is sort of pop, but sort of IDM New Jack Swing kind of style. I just like to not sit with anything too long. It's a, I also really want to make experimental, forward-thinking music. So I try to bring those things together, I guess. I think there's lots of music that I would consider pop music that isn't top 40s pop music. Um, I don't know, I feel like the term pop is very broad and everyone has their own definition for it. Um, pop music is music that's very open and very accessible, which I don't think is a bad thing and I don't think makes it inherently lowbrow or anything at all. That's, yeah, that's kind of my, that's kind of my issue and that sort of upsets me, you know. People are always like, Justin Bieber, I, I, I hate him so much. And I'm like, but it's actually just really good music even if you don't like his image. <laughs> Well, I don't like the term guilty pleasure because I think if you like something, you shouldn't feel guilty about it. But uh, if I had a guilty pleasure, I mean, Justin Bieber probably. That's the one everyone always hates on me for. Everyone's like, I can't believe you like Justin. Every time I tweet about Justin Bieber, people unfollow me on Twitter. <laughs> I'd say my first, like, my first Grimes show was Pop Montreal, which was a festival in Montreal. Um, I remember it because it was like, extremely, ah, you know, scary day for me. Um, 2010, maybe? Or 2011? I never know what year anything happens. I can't keep track of the years. I feel like my live show actually could and should be more visual. I do bring, you know, speaking of dancers, I try to bring people on stage with me a lot just because it adds something, and usually I just cover them with sparkles, and I'm like, take off your shirt, and then, you know. To me, it's just really about, I want to be sweaty by the end. I want to be really sweaty. I guess my motto, okay, it's really embarrassing, but um, my favorite book, besides Lord of the Rings, is Dune. And when I was like a kid, my dad would always be make us say, fear is the mind killer, because it's this like qu quote from Dune, it's a mantra from Dune. But it actually works. Whenever I'm on an airplane and I think I'm going to die, I'm always like, fear is the mind killer, fear is the mind killer, you know. Or, you know, if I have to play a show or something. But it's, I mean, it's true. Being afraid is like it's the thing that's going to hurt you probably more than anything else. See you.